Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you how to do an ocean cleanup bin. So what you're going to need is a bowl or a bin. You're going to need some water, another small bowl with water mixed in with a little bit of dish soap, a sponge, some ocean animals, oil. You'll need about half a cup or so. Um, it just depends on how big or how small um, the bowl or bin you're using is. A spoon, some food coloring, and some paper towels. So to get started, I'm going to take my oil and I'm going to pour it inside. Um, it should probably be around a half a cup or so, um, maybe a little bit more. Um, my bin is kind of large. Um, you just need enough oil to cover the bottom of your bin. So pour it in, spread it around. And again, it's just enough to like cover the bottom. All right. Then I'm going to take my food coloring and I'm going to drop it on top of the oil inside my bin. So just a few drops on the oil. The food color is going to act as the dirt, oil, um, other stuff that shouldn't be in the ocean but unfortunately we do find and that's what we're going to clean up. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to try to break up the blue dots a bit just so it will be able to clean up a little bit more. So just a little bit. I'm making smaller dots. Alright, so now we have some small blue specks of our oil. Then I'm going to take my water and I'm going to pour it on top. Now if your water changes colors, that's okay. Um, and if it doesn't, it's fine too. Um, but the water is going to act as our ocean. So I'm going to pour it inside my bin. You don't have to use a lot of water, but just enough to cover what ocean animals that you're using. Um, so I don't know if you can see, um, but my water did change colors a little bit, um, but the food coloring, since it mixed with the oil, it's not really mixing with the, with the water. And you can see the specks of dirt just kind of floating around on top. Now I'm going to take my ocean animals and I'm going to put it inside my ocean. So I have my yellow starfish, my purple fish, a blue shark, a pink octopus, and a pink seahorse. So I'm going to put it in there, get it all mixed up and see if the oil or the dirt from the ocean will get on top. Um, if you have like trash and stuff too, like an old um, snack bag, baggies, paper towels, you could also put that in your ocean and have more items for you to clean up. So I have my animals in, um, and if you don't have sea animals, that's okay too. You can use like um, bath toys or whatever toys you have and pretend that they're sea animals. So I'm going to take one of my animals out. So I have my blue shark here and as you can see there's some specks of oil and dirt on my blue shark. So we're going to take it out and you're going to clean it off. Um, you can do it inside the bin um, but I um, and unable to do that while holding the camera. So I'm gonna place it on my paper towel here and then I'm going to take my sponge, dip it into the soapy water, and I'm gonna use it to clean my shark off. So I just try to clean it as much as I can and try to get as much of the blue specks off. I'll flip it over. 
And then I'm going to keep doing that with all of my animals until I get them all clean. Um, and then if you want, you, if you have like a turkey baster at home, or you can even just use a spoon, you can try to see if you can get globs of the oil out and put it, you can put it back in to your pitcher, you can put it back into like the sink, but just trying to get as much oil and as much dirt out of the ocean as you can, as well as like whatever trash you might have put in there. And there you have it.